Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to install the pivot pins in the, uh, at the end of the uh, sucker rod. The, the pivot pin has two pieces of plastic and then a solid metal piece. So you remove one of the plastic pieces, slide the metal pin and the plastic pin through, and then put the plastic, then slide the plastic, the other plastic piece in from the other side. There are three sets of ears on these uh, pieces. You've got metal ears on the metal pin, and then two pieces of plastic the ears. As you can see, the plastic ear fits into a slot here, and then the other plastic ear will rotate up on, and rotate up on both sides. On the metal part, the, the ear should rotate up also. So it should be up, because when we put our handle in, that will allow it to all slide in to position correctly. Okay? We, and then when we get the handle in, then we will tighten up the uh, bolts to hold it, but we need to leave those loose. Okay, now we're ready to install the handle. The handle has pivot pins just like the top of the uh, sucker rod does. Again, you've got metal ears on the end of the metal pivot pin. You have two sets of plastic ears on either side. So you install the uh, pin through the handle, uh, take one of the, metal, uh, the plastic pieces off, slide the pin and the other plastic piece in, aligning the plastic ear up in the slot just like we did before. And then you want to, instead of aligning the plastic pieces directly up, you want to slide them, you want to rotate them so that they're facing the same direction as the handle, uh, uh, away from the pump. And you also want the metal ears to align in the same direction so that when you slide the handle in, it will all slide in together. And when you get those lined up, you just ease the handle in and again, your handle needs to be fairly level because you, you don't want to come into contact with the inner pin just yet. So you slide the handle in. All the ears will allow it to slide all the way up. You can then uh, lower the handle and engage the, uh, the fulcrum uh, pin inside the pump head. Now that the handle is installed, we need to make sure that all of the pins are aligned. And we check that, and they are on both of the uh, pivot pins. Now then, by hand, you can tighten up the four bolts. And just bring them up hand tight. Now the handle is supporting your sucker rod, so you can now remove the the tool and you can use that tool to snug the four nuts up on the pivot pins. The after dip is made with a washer on the end of these so that you cannot back the nuts all the way off. And this is a function of uh, the design which will keep you from losing the nuts on the end of the pivot pins. Okay, with all the pump assembled, we're ready to install the head. So it just slides down and covers the, uh, the pivot pin nuts. And this is a part uh, of the design which keeps the nuts from being easily removed without the proper tool. So this is a uh, anti-theft function of the design. With the head in place, there's one bolt uh, on the front of the pump over the discharge spout, and you tighten it up, and that secures the cover uh, on top of the pump. So using the tool, you just snug the cover bolt up, and your reassembly is complete. Okay, having complete our reassembly, we're ready to test the pump. 
And so you take the handle and you begin to pump. Depending upon the depth of the well, it could take several, several strokes to get the water all the way back up to the surface. Uh, if your well is 25 feet deep, then it will take a little bit. If your well is a couple of hundred feet, it'll take longer. Don't give up, just keep pumping.